Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Saunders is going to read you a story. It's called Mouse Shapes. It's written by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Then we're going to learn a little bit about shapes. The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. Let's hide in here, said Martin. Look what they're hiding in. After a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. Look what they're hiding in. We've been hiding in shapes, said Violet. Look at the shapes. We can make things out of them. Here's a square with a triangle on top. It makes a perfect house for a little mouse. See it? Here's the house. A triangle and a rectangle make a tree, said Martin. Here's the triangle and a rectangle. And the circle is a sun. But these triangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet. But any shape with three sides is a triangle. One, two, three. Three sides makes a triangle. Fred put two circles on a rectangle. It's a wagon for the little mouse in the house, he said. Two diamonds make a book for the little mouse to read, said Violet. Do you see diamonds? Here's one oval, two circles, and eight triangles, said Martin. It's a fish. Watch out. The cat likes fish, said Violet. The cats like fish? Hmm. Hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. Violet put on the eyes and the nose. Fred stuck on the ears. Martin added the teeth. It looks like the real cat, he said. Only better. That really does look like a cat. Just then the cat bounced. The mice ran away and didn't come back until the cat was gone. The cat was too sneaky said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. I wonder where his ideas got to be. We'll find out if I can turn the page. Mm, clever mice got to work. What are they doing? Soon they made three big scary mice. Do they look scary to you? Hmm. My pages are sticking together. And surprised the cat. Does that cat look surprised? Hmm. The cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now, what can we make for the little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. Do you know what Swiss cheese is? So they did. What shape did they use to make Swiss cheese? They used a 
big triangle and circles. That was a pretty cool book called Mouse Shapes. Now we have a really cool activity that we can do. I wanted to show you something. So here's some shapes that were in the book. These are diamonds, triangles. Remember we talked about triangles being tricky? So here's a triangle. It has three sides. One, two, three. Here's a triangle. One, two, three. They're not the same, but they have three sides. And look, here's another triangle. It's a little bit different, but it has three sides, so it's a triangle. What shape is this? Do you know what shape this is? That's a circle. How about this one? Do you know what this is? Did you say square? That's a square. And this one's tricky. That's an oval. That's an oval shape. So, I have a little poem for each shape for you to help you remember. This is a circle. There's the word circle. Circle. I am Cindy Circle. Watch me turn round and round and you will learn I am not straight. I do not bend. My outside end edges never end. See, it goes round and round and round. That's Cindy Circle. She is a circle. This is a, what shape is this? Diamond. There's diamond. Diamond. I am Danny Diamond. I'm like a kite but I'm really just a square whose corners are pulled tight. Diamond. Diamond has four sides. One, two, three, four. But it's very sharp. Sharp edges, see? Diamond. Diamond. What shape is this? Did you say triangle? This is a triangle, triangle. I am Tommy Triangle. I'm proud as can be. I always have three sides, one, two, three. A triangle can be different sizes. It can have different shapes, but it always has three sides. They don't have to be the same size, but it does have to have three sides. Triangle. All right, here's another tricky one. What shape is that? Kind of looks like a face. Did you say oval? Oval? Very similar to a circle, but not the same. I'm Ollie Oval. I'm a football shape. Football shape is mine. Some people say I look like an egg, but I think I look just fine. Oval. Kind of looks like the letter O. Oval. What about this shape? This is a square. Square. I am Sammy Square is my name. My four sides are just the same. Turn me round, I don't care. I'm always the same because I'm a square. No matter how you turn a square, its sides are always the same. All four sides are always the same. That's a square. Last one we have today is a little tricky. Rectangle. Rectangle. 
Ricky Rectangle is my name. My four sides are not the same. Two are short. Two are long. Count my sides. Come along. One, two, three, four. So the rectangle, just like the square, has four sides. But the rectangle has two short sides and two long sides. And the square has four sides the same. So that's the rectangle. Okay, so we learned about a rectangle. We learned about the square. We learned about an oval. We learned about a triangle, a diamond, and the circle. Okay? So when you get your tools at home and you get to play with your shapes, you'll get to practice making things with your shapes. And then you can show me with pictures what kind of things you can make with your shapes. And then you can tell me what shapes can make each other. Because I noticed that two squares make a rectangle. And two triangles make a diamond. So those are things that we're going to practice. But right now we're going to learn one more time. Rectangle, square, triangle, oval, diamond, and a circle. Okay, my friends, I hope we see you next week and have a great time playing with your shapes. I hope you enjoyed our story and I'll see you soon. Bye.